There's a pretty good sized buck over there. And where is he going? Yep, this is the big book. One I've been looking for. I think these two have been hanging out together. Can't believe I got this lucky to find him again. And he's not running off yet, but he will, he sees me down here. There's the other one. I wish he'd get away from those trees. Now stop. What a beautiful buck. Wish he'd walk down here towards me. But I don't think he will. Trees in the way. Can't see his antlers. Turned around, now he's walking back that way. Now stop and pose for me, you rascal. There are three bucks up there. Just a big boy. <laughs> that one buck ran away. He didn't want to have anything to do with this big buck. There's the one that just ran away. I think I have enough pictures and video of him. There's another buck I want to get some pictures of. I think this is the one I say always poses for me. I thought he was a big buck until I saw that other one. He is a big buck. This guy is posing for me again. He used to turn, to turn his head this way. There's the big buck, the biggest buck. Yeah, this buck is keeping an eye on that big buck. There he is walking off behind me. Where'd that book go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this 
Funny how they hang out together. There he goes. There's my buddy that always poses for me. He just jumped over that log. It's getting late, I need to start heading to my car. I'm hiking on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon at Iroquois Park. I normally hike in the morning, 
but my wife and I had things to do this morning so I'm getting here a little later than I like but I had to get my hike in it's warmer than I like but there's a nice breeze there's a lot of leaves being blown off the trees This isn't going to be a real long hike, but I'm still going to hike up and down quite a few hills. Look at all the leaves falling. I've been hiking for about an hour and haven't found any deer, but I have worked up a good sweat. It is definitely warmer than I like it. I'm away from the hills now, so I'm getting a good breeze. I think the hills block the breeze. Look at all the leaves on the ground. I was hoping to find some deer bedded down in this area, but I don't see any. Deer are so unpredictable. Sometimes they show up in places where you least expect to find them. So I found my first deer, it's a buck, I think it's a young buck, the leaves are in the way, but he might not be alone, I guess I'll hike down in that area and hope he sticks around. I just saw two of them run off, I was thinking they might come out up there, but I don't see them. I know there were two deer in this area. That was a buck. I only saw one buck take off up this hill, but both of the bucks are probably up there. By the time I get up there, they'll probably be long gone, but that's all right, I was gonna hike up this hill anyway. My guess is they took off over there. I'm not going to hike over there. I think I know where those bucks were going. And I found them there yesterday. But I don't have time to hike that area today. Like I said when I started, this is not going to be a long hike. But I've already hiked up and down a lot of steep hills. And that's why I came today, to get a good workout. I'm finishing up my afternoon hike. I'm on my way up to the top. This is a pretty steep climb, but I'm almost up to the top. Made it up to the top. Now I'm going to make a very quick pass through Summit Field. I'm leaving Top Hill Road. Now I'm going to make a very quick pass through Summit Field. It's warm up here, but there is a nice breeze. There is the North Overlook. I'm taking the stone steps down to the bottom. Now I'm on the Corbley Trail. I'm leaving the Corbley Trail. I'm going to cut through here to get down to my car. I see Rundell Road and the golf course parking lot where I'm parked. It's time for this old man to go home. I'm hiking to Iroquois Park on a beautiful Wednesday morning. North Overlook and Churchill Downs.
I just saw some deer run into the woods. This is where they ran into the woods, but I think they kept on running. And they probably crossed the Corpley Trail down there. I hiked up the Corpley Trail earlier just to get up here and spend a little time until it got lighter. Now I'm going to hike down the Corbley Trail and do a little heavy duty hiking. I saw some deer run down here earlier, but I have no idea what direction they were going. I'm going in this direction. I'm going to hike down this hill. A lot of leaves falling. I'm going to hike down there. I'm hiking down another hill. Finally found my first deer of the morning. It's a young buck. He's taking off over there. I don't see any more. I think he's alone. He disappeared over there and I've already hiked that area once. I'm not going back. There's a nice breeze this morning. I combed that area pretty good. And all I could find was that one young buck. It's time to move on. I'm not having a good deer day. But I'm having a great hiking day. I'm hiking an area I don't normally hike. Hoping to find something. I just found a buck robe. Looks pretty fresh. So a buck has been in this area. It doesn't look like I'm going to luck out and find deer in this area. I'm on my way up to the top. I made it up to the top. I'm going to go piddle around in Summit Field for a little bit and then come back and finish my hike. I made it up to Top Hill Road. And there's Summit Field. Nothing going on at this pond. I'm finishing up in Summit Field. I didn't find anything up here. Now I'm going to go finish my hike. I did see a lot of beautiful birds flying around. But I couldn't get any pictures of any of them. I just left Summit Field and I'm on Top Hill Road. Now I'm going to go finish my hike. I'm going to stay on the high ground most of the way. I found a big buck up here, but he saw me coming. I don't think I'm going to be able to get close to him, but I'm going to try. He is the hardest buck to keep up with. I bet he has already run off. This is where he hangs out, and it is an extremely hard area to hike. That was the biggest buck in the park. And I was hoping I'd sneak up on him and get a few pictures and video. But I don't think it's going to happen today. Look at all the leaves falling. Where did that rascal go? I give up. I'm not going to find him in this mess. Even though I didn't get any pictures or video of him, I did get a good look at him, and he is impressive. I got good pictures and video of him last week. I know why he hangs out in this area. Once he gets in an area like this, he's almost impossible to find. 
Well, that's not the big book. That's a very young book. Sometimes you find the young books with the big books. What is that behind him? That's a bigger book. This one is walking off. There's a pretty good sized buck over there. Where is he going? Yep, this is the big book. One I've been looking for. I think these two have been hanging out together. Can't believe I got this lucky to find him again. And he's not running off yet, but he will, he sees me down here. There's the other one. I wish he'd get away from those trees. Now stop. What a beautiful buck. Wish he'd walk down here towards me. But I don't think he will. Trees in the way. Can't see his antlers. Turned around, now he's walking back that way. Now stop and pose for me, you rascal. There are three bucks up there. And there's the big boy. <laughs> that one buck ran away. He didn't want to have anything to do with this big buck. There's the one that just ran away. I think I have enough pictures and video of him. There's another buck I want to get some pictures of. I think this is the one I say always poses for me. I thought he was a big buck until I saw that other one. He is a big buck. This guy is posing for me again. He needs to turn his head this way. 
There is the big book, the biggest book. Yeah, this book is keeping an eye on that big book. There he is walking off behind me. Where'd that book go? Oh, there it is. Funny how they hang out together. There he goes. There's my buddy that always poses for me. He just jumped over that log. It's getting late, I need to start heading to my car. I'm glad I hiked the high ground. Now I'm on my way to my car. I'm a happy camper. Found two of my favorite books. On my way down I found this tree. Someone carved 1984. And I think this is 2006 GH. I don't know when this was carved in here. A long, long time ago. And this one. I think that was a downy woodpecker, but it didn't stay long. I'm getting close to my car. I like it when I Try to guess where the bucks are going to be, and then I find them there. I thought they hung out in that high ground. It wasn't very easy hiking in that area, but it was worth it. I've found big bucks up in that area many times in the past. I found them in areas where it was a little easier hiking. And I hiked that area this morning. But I didn't find them, so I figured they'd be probably be up on the high ground. I don't hike that high ground very often. It's usually on days where I'm not having a good deer day. And I wasn't having a very good deer day until I found them.
That definitely turned it into a pretty good deer day. Yeah, I see Rundell Road down there in the golf course parking lot where I'm parked. It's time for this old man to go home.